I Isha along with my teammates Kuntal Roy and Devojyoti Das is going to present our PPT on the topic of cloud computing. So in this presentation we are going to discuss about the following things what is cloud what is cloud computing history top benefit of cloud computing simple example of cloud cloud computing essential characteristic cloud computing architecture then cloud model pros and cons and last one is conclusion so uh, moving to the uh, next slide so uh, what is cloud the clouds refer to the server that are accessed over the internet and the software and databases that run on those server uh, cloud servers are located in data center all over the world in other words we can say a uh, cloud is something which is present at remote location next slide so uh, next is what is cloud computing cloud computing is the on demand delivery of it resource over the internet with pay as you go pricing instead of buying owning and maintaining physical data center and server you can access technology service such as computing power storage and database on a needed basic from a cloud provider like amazon web service basically cloud computing consists of hardware and software resources made available on the internet as they are managed by third party services these services typically provide accesses to advanced software application high end network to server computer next slide so uh, these are brief history of cloud computing cloud computing it was a gradual evolution that started in the 1950 in mainframe computing after some time around 1970 the concept of virtual machine was created in 1999 salesforce.com started delivering of application to user using a simple website in 2002 Amazon provided first public cloud Amazon web service providing service like storage and computation in 2009 Google apps also started to provide cloud computing enterprise application in 2009 Microsoft launched Windows Azure and companies like Oracle and HP have all joined the game this proof that today cloud computing has become mainstream so these are benefit of com cloud computing accessibility productivity scalability access to automatic update business continuity pay structure and another benefit is cost saving high speed mobility quick development unlimited storage capacity so next part i would like to call kuntal uh, thank you visha so my name is kuntal roy and uh, currently i am discuss about some cloud uh, characteristic so here we can see the first uh, on demand sales service so it is uh, based on a sales service model where user can manage their service like uh, allocated store functionalities server uptime etc and making user their own boss like the user can monitor their uh, consumption and can select any use the tools and resources they requires right away from the cloud uh, itself and this helps user make a better uh, decision and makes them the responsible for their consumption and user can use resource on the base of their needs and requirement and uh, cloud service provide to not tell us user how to manage their service they can only change them at uh, end of the Uh, billing circle based on their users services and uh, next point is a broad network access right so uh, one of the most uh, interesting features in cloud computing is uh, that is no no geographical boundaries uh, cloud computing has a vast access area and is accessible via internet uh, you can access your file and documents or upload your Uh, file from anywhere in the world all you needs to go internet connection and a device and you are set to go and uh, second third point is a uh, resource pooling right so uh, in computing uh, resource pooling like uh, networking service storage 
uh, and uh, this can be done by implementing a multiple uh, tens model uh, just like a huge apartment where each individual has own flat but at a time uh, every individual shared the apartment right so a cloud service provider can share resources among client and provider uh, each client with service as per their requirements in public cloud you share the same resources with other organization and user as well while in private cloud uh, uh, user uh, user uh, by one user or organization a hybrid cloud is a mixture of a private cloud and private cloud the customer does not have uh, know where the information stored and how it is stored uh, now uh, uh, our fourth point is a rapid elasticity. So, rapid elasticity is a cloud computing term of the scalable provider. So, our ability to the provide scalable service expertise point to this kind of scalable model as one of the uh, five fundamental aspects of the cloud computing. Uh, now, is major service in order to know when a scale up. Or scale down one of the need information about the current demand on the cloud in other words one need to measure think like uh, cpu memory network bandwidth uh, to making sure the cloud uh, consumer never run out of those resources the type of resources to manage depend the part of the type of service uh, that cloud system offers so next slide please so uh, here we can see the, the two type of uh, cloud models are there one is the deployment model and there is a service model and now i am discussing the development model uh, next slide please in development model there are the three phases uh, one is a uh, public cloud and uh, uh, number two is a private cloud and number three is a hybrid cloud so now i am discussing the private public cloud next slide please So in public cloud, uh, this type of cloud is open to the public, right? So public cloud uh, deployment model are idea for organization with uh, with growing demands. It is a perfect choice for business with low security concerns. As a result, you can pay cloud service provider for networking and visualization and store access uh, accessibility via internet. It is also excellent delivery model for the deployment and testing term. It is quick and simple configuration uh, and deployment making uh, some uh, test, uh, testing environment. Uh, there are some uh, advantage uh, like no hardware setup, minimal investment and no in infrastructure management. Uh, but there are few restrictions up there like a license restriction and concerns about data security and your privacy and uh, reliability issue also be there uh, second point uh, second slide uh, second slide uh, uh, second slide is a uh, uh, based on the private cloud and hybrid cloud in private cloud the private cloud always greater control over cloud resources the public cloud deployment model is the opposite of the private cloud and uh, it is a one-to-one -one setting for the single user. It is not essential to share your hardware uh, hardware with anyone. And another name of this cloud is the internet internal cloud. And it is referred to the ability to the access system service with a specific border and organization. This difference between the private and private cloud uh, public cloud is how all hardware is handled, like data security, security support, licenses. Uh, legacy and system and uh, but it is higher or uh, it is higher cost and fixed scalability and higher maintenance uh, and hybrid cloud a hybrid cloud deployment model combines public and private also a hybrid cloud is one of the which of company use uh, the public cloud while also owning on permission system has connection between the two and they functionally uh, single system there is a useful model because it is allowed to more gradual transaction to the public cloud and uh, 
it is uh, because public cloud always scalable you only have to pay for extra capacity you need a security base like data is separate uh, and attacker chances of data thief are specifically reduced and it is also flexibility and control so next slide uh devojyoti will be continued thank you kuntor myself devojyoti i am discuss about service models service models in the world of compute uh, cloud computing there are three different approaches uh, infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service now i will discuss the infrastructure as a service infrastructure as a service is a known as hardware sorry, hardware as a service this is a computing infrastructure managed over the internet in the key features first of all instead of a passing the hardware uh, user pay or infrastructure on demand infrastructure second of all infrastructure is a scalable depending on processing and storage needs and the third of all save the inter enterprise the cost by buying the maintaining their own hardware and photo because photo of the data is on on the cloud there is no single point of failure service models platform as a service platform as a service models is used to the application of <laughs> as a service as i basically the provided the platform and services that is basically provide the platform database Hello. Is audible. Carry on, carry on. Keep on, Jyoti. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. My my mute to yes, sir. My mute. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Platform platform as a service is a complete development and the deployment environment in the cloud with the resources that enable you to deliver the everything from the simple simple cloud based approach to. sophisticated cloud computing enterprise the application and the cloud count counting the model in which the third part providers delivers hardware and software tools usually they are used for application development to user over the internet some key features pws provides a platform with tools which with tools to test to develop and the host application in the some environment Second, enables organization to focus on deployment development without having to worry about under infrastructure. Provides the manage to security operating system, server, software, and backup, and facilitates con collaborate the work uh, even if the teams work remotely. Now, software as a service. Software as a service. is a software distribution distribution model in which a cloud provider hosts application and the makes the available and to in the user over the internet in this model an in the independent software vendor isv may contact a third party cloud provider to the host application now the some key feature is first of all the the Uh, software software service vendors provide the users to software and applications on a subscription models and second one user do not have a manage to install or upgrade software and provide the manage this and the data secure in the cloud and the failure does not result in the loss of data and third fourth of all the use of resources can be scaled and depending on service needs and now it is the service models Now, first of all, SaaS software as a service is used the application of SaaS, email, games, and most important application is CRM, customer relationship management. And second of all, second platform as a service that is SaaS basically provide the platform database, employee database, deployment tools, and servers. And third of all, basic layer infrastructure as a service. that is iws is provides the infrastructure it means the the virtual machines storage devices and network tools 
so basically infrastructure as a service provides the fundamental of resources and platform as a service provides the runtime environment to run the applications and software as a service provides the software application to the end user now pros and cons pros and cons reduce the hardware and equipment for end users and second of all the improvement performance and third of all the lower hardware and software maintenance instant software and, and instant software updates less expensive and improve the disaster recovery and not cons consequence means the good internet speed with good bandwidth and the security and the limited control and infrastructure now just discuss the last part of conclusion Con cloud computing has the quickly become one of the most prominent in the it world and due to revo revolution model of computing it is increased the flexibility reliability its potential gains to achieve from the cloud computing security is the one of the major issue which hamper on the growth of cloud thank you very good presentation thank you